All right, so I'm going to show the entire game collection I have. I mean, of physical games, um, not not for portable, not for PC, and not for download. Because, well, I might as well do it since I've gotten a lot more games since the last time I did one of these videos. And take note, I am going to be a little pissed off right now because, well... I tried to do a video of this, and I actually went through all 358 games or so that I have. I, w I did an, a video that took almost an hour to make. And then I inadvertently deleted the video before I can, like, convert it. So I'm, like, recovering from, like, a bit of frustration. So first of all, I want to point out. I got a VMU for my Dreamcast. I didn't know that even though this is like like 12 years after you made they made it and I got it in a complete in the box as if it was never opened. Like I had to pull the tab out of the back. I mean, I o I mean I opened the box. I mean, I opened it, but Yeah, I got the box like like see it's in here right now, but I had to pull the tab out and everything. It's like it was never opened. I didn't even know that that I didn't even know those types of VMUs even existed anymore. But anyways, I might as well begin. This is probably going to take another hour. I'll have to speed up when I try to in fact, I might as well not even put them back on the shelf in order to save time. So, yeah. So let's start from the bottom and work our way to the top. I need to show every game I got, so. Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Well, we all know what that is. Battlefield 2. That's in the PS2. I think the PC version's different. Um, Star Wars Battlefront. They need to make Battlefront 3. The original Time Splitters, what a great way to start a great series. Midnight Club, well, it's Midnight Club, simple. Um, Call of Duty 3, yeah. Call of Duty Fanboys, alright then. Destroy All Humans, tell you the truth, I've never touched this ever since I got it. But I'm not selling it either. Then King Kong. Do yourself a favor and do not buy the PSP or DS versions. Devil May Cry 2. Well, Devil May Cry 2 for you. GoldenEye. One, how dare you try to live off the name of the original game. And two... Why couldn't Free Rackle Design develop you? Why couldn't Crytek UK develop you? They could have at least made it resemble the original game and not a Call of Duty clone. Wii Party, it's like Mario Party with Mies. The Olympics, yeah, self-explanatory. Mario Kart Wii, well it's Mario Kart. Freedom Fighters, uh, what if scenario if the Soviet Union never collapsed? Presented to you by the creators of Hitman. And then Del May Cry 3, I wish I had the special edition. But I need to get the HD collection for that. Alright, now we work. Family Guy, yeah, you pretty much know I hate this game. For how frustrating it is. Rainbow Six 3, it's good, but the PC version is tons better. Soul Calibur 3, like it. Metal Gear Solid 2, good. I did not find any controversy with Raiden. Time Crisis 3, well, yeah. Battlefront 2. Once again, where is Battlefront 3? 
Mario Sunshine, a uh, different kind of Mario game. Beautiful Joe. Yeah. Smash Bros. Melee. Good. James Bond, Agent Under Fire. Yeah. Um, from Russia with Love. I think shut the last time Sean Connery ever acted before retiring. I think. Um, the Hulk. Um, please watch The Avengers. It's funny. No, 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 not funny, but it's, it's just that one of the scenes with the Hulk was funny. But then... Mario Party 7. It's Mario Party, what do you expect? Um, Harry Potter. I hate to say this is my first GameCube game, but it's not bad. Twisted Metal Head On. Good. Um, the Simpsons Road Rage. Well, I'll tell you the truth. I used to play this. I actually there's a time I liked this more than Crazy Taxi. I guess you could say shame on me. Del May Cry, the original, and Urban Rain. Like a beat. It's like a beat 'em up. And then these are the rest of the Wii games I have. Um, excuse me. Um, New Super Mario Bros. Wii. That's... Yeah, it's New Super Mario Bros. Wii. It's the start of the guy's downfall. That's why I said in the last video. And... Wii Sports Resort. Yeah, no, excuse me, this dust is bothering me. Uh, Mario Galaxy 2. Anything that reminds me the guy must be shoved away. Uh, Thrillville off the rails. Um, I love I love this game, but I got the, I play the PC version more than I play the Wii version because I hate in the Wii version you have to use the Wii remote in order to, like build coasters and everything. The original Mario Galaxy. The guys, let's bring you out of my face. Super Paper Mario, which I actually did do a Let's Play of on my old channel, but though I canceled it because nobody was watching. I wouldn't do that nowadays, though, because it's hard to get an audience. The Simpsons game. Yeah, it's self-explanatory. It's good, though. Spider-Man 3. Yeah. Um, Spider-Man Web of Shadows. I, I like it. It's all right. Um, Lego Star Wars Complete Saga. Um, Boom Blocks, it's fun to kill things. Though I never do it in real life. We play, only worth it for the Wii Remote. We Fit, I absolutely love that the We Fit channel says that my last body test was over one week ago, when in reality it was like four years ago. Just Dance 3, shame on you, because you know why? Well, there's also a PS3 and 360 version of this game, but the commercials pretend that the 360... No, the commercials pretended that the PS3 version didn't exist. What is... Seriously, what is wrong with children's networks ignoring PS3 and yet they give Xbox and Nintendo all the attention? Dumbasses. I said it. Then Max Payne 2. Good. And then Vampire Night. Yeah, you know that, about that. Well, I'm gonna, well, I would stack these all back, but... This, this it's just gonna be a big waste of time, so I might as well don't. I'll do it all after. All right. Um, Time Crisis Project Titan. There doesn't exist a full quality walkthrough of this game on the on like YouTube or anything, so I might want to do it. Pull that chair away. Er, er. Air guys, our air guides. I think that's what's pronounced. 
This is actually a rare game on the PlayStation, so hooray for me. And then, and, oh yeah, Nintendo 64 games I have to show off. Um, inside the Nintendo right now, there's Rainbow Six. It's good if you can't find the PC version. And then we have Turok, which is like, well, it's first person shooter where you hunt dinosaurs, so. And then Hybrid Heaven, the closest thing you can get, one of the closest things you can get to an RPG on the 64. And then Win Back, good third person shooter. Perfect Dark, well, self explanatory. Duke Nukem Zero Hour. Well, it's good if you like Duke Nukem. And Golden Eye, the Golden Gym. I already made a I already made a video um, showing me unwrapping this when I got it in the mail. And then the world's not enough on Nintendo 64. All right, then let's see. Now I'm gonna start with Dreamcast games. Um, Metropolis Street Racer. The precursor to Project Gotham Racing. Um, Ready to Rumble Boxing. Um, yes. Pretty good game. South Park Chef's Love Shack, which is like a trivia game. Until the stick of truth comes out, I don't think any, there's going to be a South Park game anybody likes. And who said the stick of truth was even going to be good? Then Soldier of Fortune, I got the Dreamcast version because the PC version I am afraid to get because my PC might not run it. Coaster Works, which is like a coaster building game. I wish they had more to it and then it would have been perfect. And The House of the Dead 2. Um well, it's self-explanatory, but then wait. Um, yeah, I better. I have to. I I want to arrange them properly so that. Well, I'll arrange them after. All right. Jet Set Radio or Jet Grind Radio, very good. Um, the original Soul Calibur which is very good, one of the best fighting games ever made. Crazy Taxi 2, good. Um, Dynamite Cup, well, I did a Let's Play of this, and um, one of the kids I used to babysit, he made me sick of this game by making me play it over and over again. Shame on him. And then, it's some Sega sports game, I think it's a football game. I don't know too much about this game because it came inside my Dreamcast when I bought it. Though I do know it's a Sega All-Star. Alright, now we gotta stack them differently. Now these games over here, there's some games I'm not gonna show because they're on PC, so... Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, this is gonna be too hard. Alright. Ugh, God. Right, I'll stack them after. Alright, first, here's a golden gem I want to show you. The original Tekken on the PlayStation. Look at this big case. This is what the cases from 1995 and early 1996 looked like. Well, I got a complete big-ass manual, big-ass case, the disc, and a piece of foam. Then Fear Effect, which is also a golden gym because it's a multi-disc game. Uh, see? Disc 1. Hiding, hiding underneath the manual. Disc 2. 
And then... Disc 3 and Disc 4. So yeah, the Sphere Effect. It's like a dual... It's like there's two games in one. Alright, then the original time prices. God, did I have a hard time beating this game, even with cheats. Um, Rainbow Six Rogue Sphere. I wish I got the Dreamcast version so that I could get that third Rainbow Six game so that I have three Rainbow Six games. One for the N64, one for the Dreamcast, and then one for the PlayStation. Though I heard... I keep seeing that publisher name everywhere. The world's not enough on the PlayStation. Well, what do you know? Brother and sister game. The only reason I have this is because I got it before I had a 64, and then I got this after I got the 64. But this version's preferred. If you have a 64, get this version and not that version. Because it's this one's better. And Tomorrow Never Dies, the part, went, the part where James Bond games start going downhill. Though we have gotten a couple of good ones after GoldenEye. And then Die Hard Trilogy. <sighs> good. Rugrats Search for Reptar. Well, I made my amends with Tommy, so you should know. Soul Blade, the original Soul Calibur. Oh. Uh, Twisted Metal 4. I could actually sit through this game. Shocking. Um, Rugrats in Paris. The movie was great. The game... Eh, I don't want to say it's bad, but... I wouldn't say it's fantastic or anything. And then Final Fantasy Anthology. Sadly, I did not pay attention, and I ended up getting not only the game in like a regular CD, but I also got only the Final Fantasy VI disc, and not Final Fantasy V. Okay. Well, yeah. Now I'm going to add the PC games to the thing. Alright. And then that's it for this show. And now we move up to the PS3 aisle. Alright. So, next up we got... Batman Arkham City. Well, we all know how good that is. Infamous 2. Good. Um, Lego Harry Potter years 5 through 7. Yeah. Um, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2. I have the downloadable content, so if you own the game and not the downloadable content, you can add me in PSN. And use it with me. Little Big Planet 2, we all know about it. And then Qualmasolus and PS3. Tekken Hybrid, a combination of the original Tag Torment, a prologue to Tag Torment 2, and the Blood Vengeance movie. And then we have Modern Warfare 2, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, who cares? And then time price is four. And then we have sports champions. Yeah, good. Um, Lego Harry Potter years one through four, which is a special edition that opens up like a book and comes with the Blu-ray version of the first movie. Yep, I'm not excited. Uh, uh, Madden 11, it's football. Um, Infamous, the original Infamous. Um, End War. Um, Final Fantasy 13. This is where the series went. This is like where the series went downhill. Everybody believes. I can agree. It gets really hard. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I used to have the original when I sold it. 
for that. And then, well, Modern Warfare 3, yeah. So yeah, that's about it. There's more. PlayStation All-Stars, Nintendo fanboys, shut up. You really seriously think, in fact, one of the complaints about that Nintendo fanboys give for this game is that there's no iconic characters like Mario and Link to play as. Screw off. Tough. Who cares if you don't know about these characters? I Anyone who's played PlayStation knows who Nathan Drake, Cole McGrath, Sackboy, and Kratos are. There's, and there's more. There's definitely more characters that people know about. Who the f Moving on. Red Dead Redemption, Game of the Year Edition. Undead Nightmares, a lot of fun. The Mass Effect Trilogy, which is like in this fancy packaging, but... I can't... I really do not want to open it up right now. I apologize. Um, Deus Ex Human Revolution. Very good. Um, Tekken Tag Tournament 2. Love it. The Metal Gear Solid HD Collection comes with 2, 3, and Peace Walker. Super Street Fighter 4. Um, Portal 2. Love it. Uh, Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. Good. I'm I'm sort of looking forward to that Mortal Kombat. That they're, use, they're making another game, the more creators of Mortal Kombat, which it features the DC Universe characters only. Kind of looking forward to that. Valkyria Chronicles. Good. Prince of Persia, the only time I regretted listening to a GameStop employee because I personally did not enjoy this game too much. Because, well, it's not because of its platforming. I do enjoy its platforming, but its combat system is crap. I have played the Sands of Time games, and the Sands of Time games I love much better because they're kind of like God of War. Heavy Rain, interactive drama. Call of Duty Black Ops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Call of Duty. Uh, Call of Duty World at War. I never realized there was a crack on the bottom of the case, but who cares. Uncharted 3. The game I start, that started me pre-ordering. Started to get me pre-ordering. Grand Theft Auto 4. You all know I like it. Metal Gear Solid 4. Very good. Oh yeah, newsflash to anyone who owns it. It has trophy support. Go get your PS3 trophies, trophy horse. I hope I did not insult anybody there. Because I am a trophy whore too. And... Mod Nation Racers. Good racing game. Alright, and then we have the next row. Little Big Planet. Well, it's Little Big Planet. What can you say? Soul Calibur 4, it's all about Darth Vader, Yoda, and the Apprentice. God of War Collection comes with 1 and 2. And many people believe that 2 is the last big game on the PS2. And speaking of the PS2, apparently production of new systems in Japan has shut down. That's not a good sign. North America and Europe, it's coming. I'm not ready for it. Lego Indiana Jones 2, well it's a Lego game. Um, Batman Arkham Asylum. I need to reinstall this on my PS3 right now. Um, Lego Batman. Well, another Lego game. Tekken 6. Well, I did a Let's Play of this. Bloodstone. Well, it's Bloodstone. James Bond game. Probably the most innovative James Bond game made by Activision because it's the only one that's not related to Call of Duty in any way. Uh, Medal of Honor. Well, it's Medal of Honor. It includes Medal of Honor Frontline. That's good. 
Um, Red Faction Gorilla. Do I love to smash things? Toy Story 3. Love the sandbox mode. Toy box. Um, Uncharted Drake's Fortune. It's Uncharted. Midnight Club LA. Probably the biggest city I've ever seen until Grand Theft Auto 5 comes out. Uncharted 2. It's Uncharted 2. Game of the Year edition. Star Wars The Force Unleashed. I wish I had gotten the Ultimate Sith Edition and didn't have to spend seven and a half, wait for a sale so I could spend seven and a half dollars on the levels. And then Mag, which is... Yippee! Multiplayer shooter. And we get to move up a row. Hooray! Oh, I can barely stand up right now. Alright. Alright. Medal of Honor Fr Rising Sun. Probably this time point where the Medal of Honor series went downhill. Um, Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Well, it's Marvel Ultimate Alliance. The King of Fighters 11. Well, it's King of Fighters. As you can see, I'm using the charger. The Sims, the original on PS2. Uh, Gran Turismo 3, one of the first PS2 games I ever received. Um, Siphon Filter, the Omega Strain. Metal of Honor, European Assault. Alright, this chart is getting annoying. But then, Guitar Hero 2, I still have the guitar controller. RPG Maker 3, I love VX Ace even more. Um, the Simpsons Hit and Run, it's a good GTA clone, but I wish there was more missions that did not have a car. There's too many chase missions in it. Thrillville, the original Thrillville. Um, a Spongebob party game. Tell you the truth, I sacrificed the ability to go to a birthday party to get this game. I'm sure the birthday party would have been more worth it. A once in a lifetime experience to get a game that would probably be worth five bucks in a couple of years. Yeah. Shame on me. Marvel Nemesis Rise of the Imperfects. I think it's a good beat em up. Somewhat. Because I hate, I believe there's plenty of people who hate it. Alright, then. Time Spurs 2. I wish I had the original case. ATV Off-Road Fury. One of the other first PS2 games I ever got. MLB 09. A sports game. And I love how it has the only on PlayStation logo. Um, Final Fantasy Twelve. Well, it's Final Fantasy Twelve. Spider-Man Two. I wish I had the original case. All right then. Quantum of Solace on the PS2. And then. Tech and Tag Tournament, which is. Well, the original Tag Tournament. I wish I had the original case. Tekken 5 on PS2. Time Prices 2. Do I have a history with this game? Star Wars Episode 3. It's Star Wars Episode 3, the game. I wanted to do a Let's Play on it on my old channel, but... Never happened. Yeah, Jimmy Neutron. Oh, plenty of these games were from when I was a kid. Just take note of that. Nicktoons. I wanted to die in order to get this game. Four players. Uh, Harry Potter Quidge World Cup. I don't know if it would ever end, but it wasn't bad. Shrek Super Slam. If you can believe it, this is where the idea... For, I think... This is the... 
where the battle system from PlayStation All-Stars originated, because this has a similar battle system where you had to build up a meter and then use like a super move. Though the difference is that this game was in 3D and PlayStation All-Stars was in 2D. Uh, um, Shrek Super Party, it's a party game for Shrek. With bobble-headed characters. Then Spider-Man Friend or Foe. It's like... I only wanted it to be get I wanted it because, well, being able to play as the villains was a selling point. Alright. Then... Everything or Nothing. I'm doing a Let's Play of it right now. Uh, Dirge of Cerberus Final Fantasy VII. Underrated. And... GoldenEye Rogue Agent, quite possibly the hardest first-person shooter ever made. Ultimate Spider-Man, good Spider-Man game. Uh, Midnight Club 2, it's Midnight Club 2. Rugrats Royal Ransom. I have a date in the, for, with this game in the near future. I have to let's play it in order to get revenge on Angelica. Um, Cartoon Network Racing. At least it features the classic characters. Jimmy, another Jimmy Neutron game. Um, TMNT, we all know. It's based off the movie. That, yeah, at least it was better than the third movie. You know? And then Meet the Robinsons. <sighs> I'm an old man. I don't buy these games and these kids' games too much anymore. Alright. Ed and Nettie, to think it was one of the last games made by Midway before they went bankrupt. Um, Finding Nemo, it's Finding Nemo. Some Looney Tunes game that was supposedly voted to be really bad, and yet I wanted it anyway. Was I a stupid kid? Teen Titans, I, lo I loved the show as a kid, and I thought this wasn't too bad. Um, Tack. I'll tell you one thing, too, so much better than the show. Okay, and SpongeBob for Bikini Bottom. Surprisingly good. If you can find this game, pick it up. Yep. Um, Harry Potter, Goblet of Fire. Oh, wait, yeah, it's right here. Then, Backyard Basketball. This is, I honestly won this as a, as a kid. Well, I got it, so. Then, the, some Kids Next Door game. The Green Adventures of Billy and Mandy, which I believe is similar to Power Stone. It's to seeing how rare Power Stone is. Maybe you should pick this up and try it. Um, Lego Indiana Jones, the original game. Shrek the Third, this is where the, the movie is where the series started going downhill. The Incredibles, I, why does it have a T rating? It's not violent. Well, it's Cars. Serve you right. Another Incredibles game. Yeah, it's right there. And then this is the third and last PS2 game I first got. Hyper is doing a let's play of this game, but he's been ignoring all my comments. Why? You're my only friend left from my old channel. Don't leave me. 
And then we, last but not least, moved to the last PS2 row, but then we got a bunch of PlayStation games over here. But thankfully, I don't think we have to remove the PlayStation games from their shelf, so. Max Payne, very good. Grand Theft Auto 3, good. Though, it started getting better, it gets better. Grand Theft Auto Vice City, good. And then it gets even better. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, very good. I love it. Um, Bully, well it's Bully, good. Then Manhunt, why did they censor Manhunt 2? Why did they remove most of the violence that this game had? Why did the rating system not attack the first game and then they attacked two? Final Fantasy X. I, I have an interesting story with this game. But I'll save it for another video. Final Fantasy X 2. Now, I bought this game simply because I kept going to my local GameStop store. And the, this exact same copy was just sitting there every time I went there. I can tell because it always had this new sticker. Well, and I finally bought it just because it was, like, lonely, like, not getting bought, like, doomed to be sitting on the shelf forever. Then, Ready to Rumble Boxing Round 2. It's all worth it to have Michael Jackson beat up Bill Clinton. And to see Michael Buffer become a Hulk. Death by Degrees, I think it's underrated, tell you the truth. Uh, Mega Man Anniversary Collection, it includes Mega Man's 1 through 8 and 2 fighting games. Mega Man X Collection, which comes with X 1 through 6 and a racing game. Um, TMNT 2, underrated. TMNT 3, Underrated. X-Men Legends, the, st the precursor to Ultimate Alliance. X-Men Legends 2, the sequel to the original. Time Splitters, Future Perfect, love it. And then Series Unfortunate Events, the movie with Jim Carrey, I liked it. Alright, maybe I should do the PlayStation games before I get a big barricade over here. Alright, alright, uh, this is going to be hard. Um, alright, let's begin. Um, Scooby-Doo, a Scooby-Doo game on the PlayStation, which doesn't want to go back in its spot. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, um, Spongebob Super Sponge. I did a review of that game on my old channel, of this game on my old channel, and I did a negative review, and there's one point where I deliberately died to make the game seem too hard when it actually wasn't. Trying to rip off the nerd. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, which is Philosopher's Stone internationally. I like it. Uh, Monsters Inc. Can't wait to see University. Um, Tarzan. Well, it's Tarzan. It was a part of a time in, at Christmas when I wanted four PlayStation games in Christmas 2001. And then I had to go to church before I can play them. I was not happy. And, yeah. Um, Buzz Lightyear Star Command, another game where I did a negative review and get, was way too harsh on it. Um, Power Rangers Time Force, I love the show. Um, this is just an extra copy of Spider-Man, so don't worry about it. Some Tonka game in space. 
Um, powerboat racing. It's like a, mo it's like a boat racing game. Pac-Man World. Well, it's Pac-Man World. Oh god, I'm gonna have so many cramps after I finish this video. Uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. I got the PlayStation version and not the much better PS2 version, all because the PlayStation version had an E rating. Um, some Winnie the Pooh game. Another Winnie the Pooh game. <sighs> Sweating. Wheel of Fortune on the PlayStation. Monopoly on the PlayStation. Wii virtual versions. And then Spider-Man 2. Well, it's the sequel to the original. And then... We have the original Spider-Man, which is, well, the original Spider-Man. Uh, then Dance Dance Revolution, which is like a Disney version. Um, Need for Speed 3. The Emperor's New Groove. I have a history with this game. I should do a whole video where I explain histories with the games I have. Don't know, don't care. There's nothing inside, so why even say it? E.T. I believe it's better than the Atari game, though I'm sure it sucks. Um, Railroad Tycoon. I never played this too much, so I don't know too much about it. Don't know, don't care. Although, if somebody, if, if there's anybody who knows about Colony Wars, yeah. I don't know about this game, but I've heard it, I've seen, it's on the PSN store, so if you're curious, check it out. sister's games, Barbie. And uh, Game of Life, another virtual game. That's a board game. Jeopardy! Yeah, Jeopardy. Um, a Bug's Life? I remember I had to survive a day at Nazi camp in order to get this game. But don't worry. It was not an actual Nazi camp. I do not believe in Nazi beliefs. I just call it Nazi camp because I hate the camp so much that, yeah, it deserves a name, so. And um, Toy Story 2 on the PlayStation. Yeah, good. Aladdin, the only game from my childhood I have not beaten. Tekken 3... Well, it's Tekken 3, self-explanatory. And, um... This game, I am shocked that Eidos made it. And then the infamous Nicktoons Racing brings us to the end of my PlayStation library. And... Yes, there's a couple of Yellow Sleeve PS2 games I want to show. Alright, Splinter Cell. Alright, so let's see. Splinter Cell, yeah. Um, Virtual Fighter 4 Evolution. Spider Man the Movie. Um, Soul Calibur 2. Front Mission 4. And 007 Nightfire. I wish I had the original cases for all of them. 
And then we start working our way down the last PS2 games. Um, the original KH. Good. I can't wait for a remix. Crap. KH Recom. We all know about it. KH2, I can't believe I spent $45 on this game. That price tag, yeah, I literally spent $45 on this game. I mean, it's good, but I never spent so much on a PS2 game in my entire life. Because of all the crappy games I got, all the crappy kids games were $40. Monster House, which is based off the movie, and I heard it's real four for kids. I never really liked it because of one part I couldn't pass. Crappy movie. Good movie, bad. Um, not I don't want to say bad game, but I didn't particularly enjoy it too much. Shrek 2, the high selling point of this game is four players. And it was good. <coughs> oh, now I'm suddenly getting sick. Fairly odd parents. I defy you, Heartman. Cancel the show. Good once again, good movie, not necessarily good game. Once again, good movie, not necessarily good game. Alright, we're getting down to the last rows. Pac-Man World 2, you know about it. <coughs> oh my god. Mercenaries, made by the same people who made Battlefront. Justice League Heroes, a ripoff of Ultimate Alliance with DC characters, with two players, not four, two. Count them two. Tekken 4. Yeah, it's Tekken 4. Ugh. Nicktoons. It's an R game. Screw you, movie. Screw you, game. Shrek. It's a Shrek Smash and Crash Racing. It's a racing game. Um, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Arguably the last good Harry Potter because it was the last Harry Potter that was a Zelda clone. Which is good. Ugh. Pac-Man World Rally, which is like a racing game with Pac-Man characters. Not bad. And Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. Can you believe that this was my elementary school graduation gift? And then we have the last row. Yeah. Ugh. Power Rangers Super Legends, an all-star game, which is uh, all right. Beat 'em up. Hitman Two definitely should pick it up if up, especially since they have the HD collection of Hitman coming out. Ugh. Pac-Man Fever, which is like a Mario Party ripoff with Pac-Man characters. They're actually Namco characters in general. Another sponge game. Tac 2, probably one of the only good games I got as a kid. Um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Do I love the Wonka version better than the Charlie version? Um, Robin Hood. 
this Robin Hood game. In fact, I actually made a video earlier trying to show off the game collection. And it's only recently when I figured out that Capcom made this game. I never knew that this was made by Capcom. I never knew. Corvette, which is kind of like um, Gran Turismo, though I think it's worse. Um, Avatar, The Last Airbender. I had a pretty infamous experience with this game because I also wanted to do a review on it on my old channel, but I never went through with it, but I wish I did because there is a fatal flaw in this game that can prevent you from continuing. So, yeah. I defy you, Heartman. Another Nicktoons game. Rocket Power Beach Bandits. I think it's good. Uh, the SpongeBob movie, which the guy claims is so hard that he never wanted to do a Let's Play on it. Interesting. I mean, there are some people who find things harder than others, but I wonder what he would think if I were to try a Let's Play on it. Yeah. And then, shockingly, this was the last PS2 game I ever received when it was new. Disappointing. And then last but not least, Tech Great Juju Challenge. This is where the last good part of Tech, because then they made the TV series and then another game. It all sucked. And there you have it. So many games that I have to clean up. So yeah, that's about it. So long my friends and but now wait if you want to request any of these games for me to do as a let's play go ahead I know I will not get any requests but I can only hope so so long farewell goodbye